Good afternoon, my loves. Welcome to Maverick Baking and welcome back to another super simple recipe video. Today I'm taking you guys step by step through something so lusciously lemony, something so supremely citrusy. We're talking the ever beloved lemon bar. A generous base layer of buttery Scottish style shortbread topped with a super tangy but wonderfully and addictively creamy yet sharp lemon custard on top. This is one that you can make all for yourself. It's one you could make to take to a special occasion. It's one you can make all year round and it's one that even beginner bakers can make promise. It's based on a lemon tart recipe that I've been making for years now. This is basically just the kind of slightly more greedy version and it's every bit as good. As long as you have a square or rectangular baking tin lying somewhere and you can grab yourself an electric whisk or just kind of pluck up enough elbow grease to whisk it by hand, you can make these bars and they are absolutely worth it. Let me show you how to make these lovely lemon bars. Let's begin our luscious lemon bars with the most beautifully basic ingredients. We start off with some plain flour, which you're just going to tip into a nice big clean bowl. And we're going to add some sugar to that. You can use either granulated sugar or regular caster sugar, whichever you have to hand. Not too much, just enough to sweeten the biscuit base, but the topping is going to be pretty sweet on its own, so we don't want too much. Stir that together a little bit before adding an incredibly generous amount of butter ideally salted butter but if you only have unsalted to hand just add a pinch of salt to the mixture and you're just going to want to use a kind of regular table knife or like a steak knife nothing crazy just to kind of cut that butter through the flour and then you're just going to want to get your clean hands in there to rub it all together to make sure that there are no big kind of chunky lumps of cold butter in there you know, rub it together, squeeze it together, whatever you need to do to make it a kind of crumbly mixture instead. Adding some water if you think it's a bit too dry before pressing into a nice even flat layer and popping it into the fridge for about half an hour to cool down. Cold butter helps lend a better texture to the biscuit and stabbing it with a fork just before baking will also stop it from rising up too much. Now the shortbread should be pretty much baked all the way through and you're just going to want to let it cool down a little bit out of the oven while you make that gorgeous lemon topping for which you're going to need four large egg yolks. Of course, the full recipe and measurements and instructions will be in the description box below as always and on maverickbaking.com. You can save the whites for something else. You can make some meringues or throw them into an omelette, whatever you like. But we're just going to need the yolks for this recipe, not only for their beautiful flavor and texture, but also for that gorgeous natural kind of yellow color that they'll give to the lemon custard topping. You're just going to want to whisk that ideally with an electric whisk because it's just much easier on the elbows for about a minute just to kind of incorporate a little bit of air before adding a whole roughly 400 gram tin of just standard condensed milk. I use Nestle brand, but you can use Carnation, whatever you can get your hands on. This just adds a kind of rich, sweet, milky flavor and texture to the custard all in one go. And you're just adding the whole tin. No need to be precious here. Just pour it all into those lovely kind of slightly airy egg yolks before whisking again for a further two minutes, by which point you should really see these looking a little bit more airy, not quite fluffy, but a little bit moussey before adding the zest of three large lemons and then squeezing in as much juice as you can get out of them without dropping any of those annoying little seeds and pits inside. Then you're going to whisk it one more time, promise, for a further one to two minutes just to get it all nice and incorporated and to add a bit more air to make these wonderfully light when you eat them. Pour that on top of your slightly cooled shortbread, spread it out evenly and you're just going to pop that back in the oven to bake for another 15 minutes before cooling completely, chilling and then slicing into these very generous lemon bars. Feel free to dust them with a little bit of icing sugar or decorate them however you like. They're beautiful on their own, they're beautiful with toppings, however you like to eat them. Even adding a little bit of raspberry jam before baking is also a very cheeky maverick baking kind of touch, but the texture here, the smoothness, the creaminess and the crunch all in one, I love these and I hope you do too.